Hey everyone, it's Lady Kaka 101 and today I'm here with a Disney Princess Ariel doll. Not by the Disney store, not by Mattel. It's from Hasbro and I'm super excited to have this Ariel. Um, I've been seeing like everyone's finds on YouTube and Instagram and all that of um, their finds on the new Disney Princess Hasbro dolls and they look so pretty in person and I've seen like them all in person at Walmart. I saw like all the basic ones that there are and they're so pretty in person and I got Ariel because you guys may or may not know that I have a Little Mermaid collection that I'm slowly working on and of course I had to get Ariel to be my first one. Um, they are quite pricey for in Canada at least. Um, they are like about $15. Um, that's why I was kind of like debating whether or not to get her but I thought why not? I'll just try it out because everyone seems to be really excited for these girls so I thought I'd join in on the hype. So yeah, so here's Ariel and I have with me the Mattel Ariel and the Disney Store Ariel for a little comparison later on. So let's take a look at the box. And it's super pretty by the way, I'm like loving the packaging, it's so pretty. The back is just like a plain blue background. There's little movie scenes on the side from Kiss the Girl. There's Flounder, there's Sebastian, and there's Ariel. Ariel and, and Flounder, super cute. Disney Princess Ariel, and there's the Hasbro logo. So glad that they took it upon themselves to um, now make the Disney Princess dolls because they're doing a great job from what I've seen. Disney Princess Royal Shimmer. Curious about the world above, the waves, free-spirited Ariel risks everything. And there's her in Atlantica with her friends Flounder, Sebastian. I really love the Hasbro artwork too. Sorry about the glare, by the way, it's awful, I know. And um, there's all the other princesses. I like how they have like pictures of each princess on the back. It's super cute. So it says, collect all 11 dolls. And there's Ariel, Tiana, Belle, Rapunzel, Jasmine, Merida. There's Pocahontas, Aurora, Mulan, Cinderella, and Snow White. And there's also like Elsa and Anna, but like in their, in their own separate line. So yeah, let's open up Ariel and give you a closer look. All right, here's our beautiful Ariel doll out of her box, and she's so pretty. I really like how unique and different the faces are, and I like how Hasbro gave them new bodies for like each girl, different bodies and different face sculpts and everything. I think it's really cool and very unique. So here's her face. It's super cute. She has these big blue eyes with some brown eyeshadow on top and pink lips, and her hair is gorgeous. And I really like how they parted her hair on the right side. And it's done in this really cute, swoopy, curly hairstyle. And it's like nice and wavy in the back. And to my surprise, there's like little to no product in this. Like you'd think like the curls would be like really crunchy and gross, but they're actually like soft and like nice. So I'm really excited about that because it will be much easier to tame. And then here's her dress, which is super cute. Um, for some reason, I find it kind of ill-fitting on her, even though like it's not because it like fits to her properly. I think it's like the sleeves part that kind of pulls me off. Like it is cute, but like I don't know, something about it just seems off to me. But um, that's okay. So here's the top part. It's like this minty aqua color with some seashells and starfish on it, and some of the seashells are glittery, super cute. And she has on these like tool sleeves, big puffy sleeves. And I love the lower part. It goes from a gradient of like mint green to dark green. And it's all glittery and there's like purple seashells and seahorses. Very cute. And then Ariel is wearing these really cute shoes. And the shoes are also like a very unique mold too. They're not like normal Barbie size feet. They're like quite big actually. And she has on these transparent high heels with little bows in the front. Super cute. So yeah, that is Ariel. And as far as articulation can go, Ariel can pivot at the head and like go 360, you know, the usual. And she can go out and up and down with her arms. It's hard to do it with one hand, but you get the idea. And she can also move at the hips as well. Here's a comparison of all three girls, all three Ariel dolls from different companies. This is a Disney store, Hasbro, and Mattel. And of course, um, my personal favorite of the Ariel, of like the Disney princess doll makers is the Disney store. And a lot of you will agree, agree, but everyone is like entitled to their own opinion. But I think 
Disney store is the most detailed and accurate. And um, I was watching videos from my good friend Sally Hart's Jack Eady, and he made a good point. He said not a lot of people like going to the mall, and like most Disney stores are in the mall. I think all of them actually, I'm not so sure. And um, instead of like actually going to the mall and having to go to the Disney store, you can just go to like Walmart, Target, or whatever, and go down the doll aisle, and you can get a very well made Disney Princess doll for an affordable price that's actually like really decently made. Well, Mattel's was like molded on tops and like cheap fabric. I really, really like the Hasbro dolls. I like how they actually look like Disney princesses and not friends of Barbie. So I really, really like the new dolls. Tell me what you guys think of them down in the comments. Tell me which version of Ariel is your favorite Disney store, Hasbro, or Mattel. And until next time, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys!